Science Mom, this is Math Dad, and we're back for challenge problem number 41. In this series, we have logic puzzles, spatial reasoning puzzles to help you exercise your brain, and you can click down in the link, log into Desmos, and do them right along with us. See if you can beat Science Mom to the answer. In today's puzzle, it's called Shikaku, which is a puzzle where you've got a grid with numbers in it. You need to complete the puzzle by drawing rectangles, and each rectangle needs to contain one number, that one number needs to describe the number of squares in your rectangle. And you've got to divide up the entire grid into those rectangles. All right. Okay, and so the, this one's just a practice screen because I want to make sure we understand the rules before the real problem comes. Okay. So you want me to go through and solve this? this yeah, yeah go, go ahead. Give it a try. Okay. So when you say rectangle, I assume you mean that... A, a square is a rectangle. Where... Yep. Well, and where I, I cannot do something like this, for example. Th that is correct. Okay. Only rectangles. Um, and it can only contain one number, and that number has to say the area. So for this four in the corner, it has to be two by two, because otherwise we would run into those fours. Um, the three has to be one by three, and go that way or this way. So I've... All right, one, two, three... This four has to be one by four going that way, and I assume it's it's like this where you're just trying to reason through and make sure that you don't. Exactly. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see, this two here I think has to go there because otherwise that two wouldn't get used. Um, ooh, same thing down here. So these two squares need to be used. The only way they can be used is if we have a two by three for our six. Good. Um, then that would mean we'd have a square here. Uh, the three has to be like this. That would mean that our four would come down here. Hmm. The two would be like that. There's the four and there's the three. Not super pretty with my line drawings, but you know what I mean. Okay. Reveal the solution and yep. woohoo! I did it! Alright, so you understand how the puzzle works? I do. This one was just six by six. Your puzzle is going to be eight by eight. And how much time do I get? You get three minutes to solve the puzzle. Any questions? Okay, then if you're watching at home, this is the time to pause and give the problem a try yourself. Science Mom, your time begins now. All right. So I'm going to look for one where I can reason that it has to be a certain way to get started because I think that'll be really helpful. Uh, let's see. The six could go a number of ways. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can't have a one by eight for our top eight number. Um, it has to be two by four, but I'm not sure exactly what two by four space would occupy. The six though, the six. The six has to be two by three, and it has to include that corner. So there's my first one. Good. Um, let's see, the... I think our eight is a good one to start next because these two, these two spaces here, if they're not part of the eight, they're not going to be able to be part of anything else. So here's our eight, two by four, which would mean the six would need to be one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our six. And I like this, the reasoning about how is an empty block going to be used because that's the only way we're going to take care of that one with our two. And then the three needs to be the same way. One, two, three, four. If we did one by four with the four, we would not account for those. So the four has to be a square. Here's my twos. Um, hmm. I'm going to say that this is how the six needs to be. That two by three there. Two, three, four, five. The five is going to need to be a one by five. Could it be up there higher? Maybe it could be, but then... And I'm not going to account for this block here. The only way I can account for that block is if this 4 is 1 by 4, which would mean this 4 would need to be 1 by 4 as well, um, which would mean that our 6 would need to be like that, the 4 would be like that, and the 2 would be like that. Oh, look ha! at that. A minute to spare. Yay. Nicely done, Science Mom. These are quite a bit of fun. How did you how did you come across these? I'd never heard of them before. I had never heard of them before either. I just Googled looking for some fun puzzle types and I came across this and thought, oh yeah, this one's definitely a good problem for Science Mom. Thank so, you. Well done, Science Mom. 